everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. I've got some exciting news to share with you. We've teamed up with Mr. Beast and Mark Rober on an incredible mission, Team Water. Together, we're aiming to raise $40 million to bring clean, safe water to 2 million people around the world. This video dives into why water is such a complex global issue and why the time to act is now. Want to be part of the solution? Visit www.teamwater.org to join the movement. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video moves you to take action with us. Most fresh water is out of reach. You might be wondering, if 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, why is only a tiny fraction of it actually usable? Well, most of it is salt water, and nearly all the remaining fresh water is locked away in glaciers or deep underground. That leaves around 0.014% of the Earth's water readily accessible in rivers, lakes, and shallow aquifers. It's these sources of water that are being rapidly depleted by humans, but slowly replenished by rain and snowfall. And this limited supply isn't distributed evenly around the globe. This limited supply must meet the needs of over 8 billion people, plus agriculture, industry, and energy. As the population grows, this microscopic slice of usable water becomes even more precious, and unfortunately, more strained. Four billion face annual water scarcity, Water is our most valuable resource, but over a billion people currently lack access to clean sources of it. Every year, nearly two-thirds of the global population, about four billion people, experience severe water shortages for at least one month. And no, this isn't just in developing countries. Major cities like Cape Town, Sao Paulo, and even Los Angeles have come dangerously close to running dry. Water officials believe the past three years could end up as the driest in California's history. These water shortages don't only impact health, they also affect things like agriculture and economic stability. In some regions, rivers are drying up before they reach the ocean. Sadly, with growing demand and worsening droughts, even more areas may soon face year-round scarcity. Current estimates predict that by 2040, up to 20 more countries could be experiencing water shortages. Agriculture is thirsty and growing. It's been estimated that by 2030, the global population will top 8.5 billion people. This, of course, means more mouths to feed and more water needed to grow food. What we're seeing is a diminished capacity to feed our own people. And that's the tragedy here. We don't have the water to grow the food that we could be growing here that makes it to the store that we all shop at. Agriculture already consumes about 70% of global fresh water. So to feed the next billion people, well, we'll need an extra trillion cubic meters of water annually. To put that in perspective, that is equivalent to 100 Colorado rivers. If farming doesn't get more efficient, the demand could far outpace supply. We need to fundamentally rethink agriculture by growing crops that use less water, by cutting down on livestock farming, and by using techniques like drip irrigation to maximize efficiency. With that, water smart innovation in irrigation and crop production is becoming increasingly vital heading for a major shortfall. According to the United Nations, global freshwater demand could exceed supply by as much as 40% as early as 2030. Changes in the climate are said to be accelerating this trend by driving more frequent droughts and disrupting things like rainfall patterns. But across the country, it's forecast there'll be a shortfall of 5 billion litres of water per day by 2050. The result of ageing infrastructure, an expanding population and climate change. At the same time, urbanization and industrial activity are also driving up water use. This looming gap could trigger widespread food insecurity and mass migration. The projected shortfall only further highlights that the future of water isn't just about access, it's about survival. Mass starvation. Every second an additional person in East Africa is on the verge of starvation unless rain arrives. In 2025, a distressing report revealed that approximately 90 million people across eastern and southern Africa are on the brink of starvation. The reason for this heartbreaking stat? You guessed it, relentless drought. In many of these areas, the scarce water has led to crops failing and livestock deaths. This is the Kosapir River in northern Kenya. 50,000 people depend on this river. Now, in a good year, I would be underwater, but this is not a good year. Sadly, clean water is nearly impossible to find. These devastating conditions are forcing families to walk for hours just to fetch a single container of water. The United Nations has since warned that water scarcity is becoming one of the greatest threats to global food security. 
women bear the burden. They're simply being mothers, sisters, wives, working to create a more dignified life. These women are inspiring. What if we told you that every day, women and girls around the world spend a collective 250 million hours fetching water? Yep, in some countries, they walk upwards of six kilometers a day, often carrying up to 20 kilos of water on their heads. We did the conversion and that's 44 pounds. Sadly, this daily chore keeps millions of girls out of school and places women in poverty. It also exposes them to danger along remote routes. It turns out that water access isn't just a resource problem. It's a gender equity issue. They're not trying to change the world, but they will. Hundreds of millions go without water. I just turn on the tap and realize there is no water coming out of the tap. Despite an influx of technological advancements, some 700 million plus people still live without regular access to water. That is more than double the population of the United States. Many of these affected individuals live in rural areas or conflict zones. This means that critical infrastructure is either poor or has been destroyed. Because of this, the lack of water greatly affects everything in these locations, from sanitation and hygiene to education and economic opportunity. Unfortunately, without clean water, it also means that these communities remain stuck in cycles of poverty. We need to figure out how to value fresh water as a public good, something that's vital for human and non-human life now and in the future. 2023 was the driest in decades. We begin with breaking news about the increasingly dire state of the global climate. There's a new report just out this morning confirming that 2023 smashed temperature records. In 2023, the United Nations reported that global river flows hit their lowest levels in over three decades. Record heat played a role and so did the loss of glaciers that feed the rivers. Uncharacteristically, rivers that have powered civilizations for centuries, such as the Yangtze River, the Rhine River, and the Colorado River, ran dangerously low or even dried up in certain parts. The culprits? Rampant overuse, unchecked pollution, and accelerating changes in the climate. Driven by a lot of factors, of course, the main one is the continued use of fossil fuels, pumping CO2 and greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. But yeah, this was a big one. Unfortunately, if this trajectory holds, vanishing rivers won't be rare. They'll be the new normal. And without them, the ripple effects on food, energy, and human survival will be immense. Two billion lack safe drinking water. Staggeringly, an estimated 2 billion people don't have access to safely managed drinking water services. With that, their water is often untreated and unprotected, making it incredibly unsafe for consumption. We go out and pray for the water because the water is sick and it's, it's contaminated. As you might imagine, the consequences are extremely harmful as contaminated water spreads diseases such as cholera, typhoid, and dysentery to name but a few. It also puts stress on healthcare systems and stunts economic development. Access to clean water has proven to be not just a luxury, but a human right. Sadly, it's one that too many in the world are denied. Water is a basic human right. Everyone deserves access to clean drinking water, no matter what our race or color is, or how rich or poor we are. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Unsafe water kills. The main fact is this, no one stands to suffer more than children. If you still weren't convinced how critical access to clean water is, consider this. Diseases linked to unsafe water and poor sanitation kill over 1 million people each year. Most heartbreaking of all, a child under five dies every few minutes from waterborne illnesses. Diseases like cholera, typhoid, and dysentery spread through water and they can kill children. These deaths are entirely preventable. With access to clean water, proper sanitation, and basic hygiene education, countless lives could be saved. Yet despite the staggering toll, water often remains an afterthought in global aid and infrastructure planning. For millions, especially the most vulnerable, clean water is the difference between life and death. But it's clear that if we don't manage our precious water resources more wisely, the consequences could be very serious. Remember, water is life, and together we can save it. Don't forget to visit www.teamwater.org to help make a difference. Clean water is the most fundamental thing that people need to survive and thrive.